Good afternoon and welcome to the Predator CSI 2023 Alpha Las Vegas Open. We started with 192, just 16 remain. And by the end of today, we will know who are our four semi-finalists. Our next match could be a classic Chang Jun Lin against the killer Joshua Filler. Your referee for this one is John Lehman. It's now the best of three sets. Races to four still all the way to the final. It's still Temple, of course. It's a cool shot. And with me in the booth calling the shots, Tim De Reuter. Good afternoon, Tim. Good afternoon, Mark. Here we go then. This has got all the makings of an absolute classic. Chang winning the leg, breaking off rack number one. Best of three sets. Well, it's a Nevada desert break, it's dry. Yeah, that one ball was tracking towards the side, but then got kissed away by the four-railer. I see a lot of Asian players at the moment here. They're, they really like to break from the side rail. I've seen Copigny do it when he was playing Feder Gorst. He beat Feder, but he made the one in the side at some point a lot of times. So I think they're copying each other like they see good results and then they all start to do it. Trying to bump the two out there. Might have hooked himself behind the five. Unlucky, wasn't it? Good effort. Ten ball. It's, it's called the ten ball. So, compared to the WPA rules in the Pro Beard series, early ten balls are allowed as long as you call them. Everything is call shot. Well, he knew it was always going to track towards the ten and decided to leave some distance. Yeah, it's worked out nicely. Chang, fresh from a victory against Albion Ocean. Watched a bit of that, Tim. It was uh, played really well. Straight set win. Yeah, has been on the tour for a long while too. If you compare how long Chang has been on the tour and how long Filler has been. <coughs> yeah, he also beat Shane Van Bonin in the first round. And also Omar Al Shaheen. No I think he, oh, he is no rail. Yeah. We've seen that a few times, you know. Saw it earlier on in the catchy match. Started the downfall of catchy, actually. He was trying to hit that two ball a little thinner. Chang. Oh, how close is that? Not close enough is the answer. Oh, oh, that didn't go very well. He's had a little bit of a result there, though. It goes in the corner, does it? I think it does. I think it does too, but <laughs> he certainly wasn't trying to bump that three ball. Right, still okay. He can play top spin. Oh, he's playing draw, just for the four in the top corner. He, while he was warming up, I saw him do something you don't often see. He miscued on a draw shot, and the cue ball went flying into that LED wall, and he picked the cue ball, yeah, exactly, and he picked the cue ball up. He didn't worry about the LED. He's more concerned about the cue ball, and then spent about a minute picking stuff off it and cleaning it. <laughs> don't worry about our wall, Joshua. Yeah, one of the straightest shooters in the world. Yeah, and just beat the reigning world 10 ball champion in the last round, Wojtek Shevchik. That's a strong win. Yeah, I've played filler well, many times. Hit that a bit hard, was he? Yeah. Where's he gone there? Played him many times from since when we were both juniors. I've always had very fun matches, but unbelievable what he had, we what he could have done already on such a young age. It's always been spectacular. 
He's just not found his cue ball just yet, t uh, Tim. Just struggling yeah, with the pace a little bit. Yeah, the speed of the table, yeah. <coughs> he can still cut it and go three rolls with the nine, but it's not an easy cut. Semi-finals and final tomorrow, of course. Yeah, still, he had to go for this. And Still barely. struggling, still struggling for position. Yeah, it might also be some early match nerves, of course. He's playing Chang. You know, it's in the arena. So maybe a little nerves here, but... I'm sure those will be gone if he wins his first rack. Yeah, perfect on this 10 ball then. It hasn't been textbook filler, but the text will change to filler one. Jung Lin, zero. And he goes. So you were commentating on the Koping Yi Feder Gorse match. How was that? It was a blast. It was amazing. Really, this match had everything. They could not get a bigger lead than just two games. It was. <coughs> just back and forth all the time they just really were and then coping he pulled off maybe six highlight shots like he was shooting jumping messes all kind of like amazing shots it was really exciting and then at the end we all thought it was going to go to a shootout and then Federer missed one or two opportunities wow it was really tight you looked across at me I'm not going to say it don't Oh, <coughs> I did it. Oh, that's a great break. Seven in the side, one in also. I'll look at the two ball. I think you can safely say he's going to push out here, Tim. <coughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> I think that's a pretty good call there. But that's where my genius stops and where yours comes in. Where's he going to push to? I say over this bottom rail as we look now. He about where that nine ball is. He might drop the four in and then go for the jump because he might be able to jump the two of the three. Might be one of the shots. Um. When I said nine ball, I mean the nine ball on our screen. The one at the bottom of the screen, you know, our little graphic there. Um. Yeah, otherwise he could push to where there's the angle that Cheng is always running into the three, so it could be difficult to control, but was he going to push to... Exactly where I said, wow. Can't believe I got one right. So he kicked to... Oh, he's, he's pushing to the kick, two rails. Or he's pushed to a jump. He's going to kick these two rails and he Tim. I, I, like, ball behind I, the I like the kick better than the jump what he's looking at. Call the two in the side. Oh, he's put him back in. Called it in the side. Chang didn't like it. Yeah, possible to have good results if he hits the outside of the two. Kubo will run into the three and stay probably low with the three and the eight. And the two will go back up table. Yeah, just good like shot. that. Strong shot from Joshua Filler. So well judged. Shane Van Boning, who was in absolute amazing form on this very table earlier on today, is in action on table two now against the Polish Konrad Zuzician. If you want to go and have a look at that one, Koping Yi against Dong Kwok Hoang.
and David Alcady versus Victor Zelensky are available on tv.kazoom.com. Just go there, register yourself, and just for a few bucks, choose which match you want to watch. And that's the same throughout this tournament. Uh, I was looking at maybe going two rails. He's kicking from the back, sending the two ball over down table, leaving the cue ball up behind the nine, probably. Oh, from a hit and brilliant shot. So gonna leak out a little bit. No, that's a really good shot. Nice return safety here. <laughs> Very matter of factly, you hear the call for inside. Fear. Ein Swain Dry Fear. He's got no fear. He'll be hoping to get one here though. It's going kind of two rails. Oh Ooh, whoa, there's a rare occurrence. Yeah, I think John I just spotted a little bit of Something on the ball there. Yeah, the draw the side English never just took off there off that second rail. Yeah, it was just the battle for that one ball. Besides that, not really much work to do on the table. It's a good angle on the six to get back to the center of the table for the eight. I think he's done well. Just a little draw on the six now. Perfect. Always looks so calm. I don't think I've ever seen him rattled in any way. <coughs> He's always on the practice table. Lives to play Paul. I live to talk about Paul. Tim lives to play and talk about Paul. <laughs> yeah, You've got the mix full it house. Up. You're greedy. Mix it up a little bit here and there. We're so. all square then in this. Our 16 match between two of the giants of the game. And both players look pretty impressive. Just that one mistake there with the kick shot from Joshua Filler. His wife also in action here this week in the women's Alpha Las Vegas Open. She won her second match yesterday, uh, sorry, today after losing yesterday. And we've got some more ladies games going on right now. Also available on tv.kazoom.com if you'd like to go and pick out your favourites. I know Kelly Fisher is in action right now. On one of our outer tables, Christina to catch also. And Fedor, well, he'll be watching. He's out of this year's Alpha Las Vegas Open, but he still has the 10 ball, of course, to go. Yeah, plenty more good matches to come for sure. Oh, oh cue ball. ball. Didn't really control it, did he, Tim? Yeah, didn't, didn't get to reach the one straight in the face. If you look at, got to the center of the table and then the top spin took over and... There it goes, so... Oh. Any problem on the table is to go for a 2 8 combination, which is not super tough. Yeah, I got a little off angle here, angle towards the 10, and that two ball. 
is most likely to go to the short rail. Okay, he hit it, hit it full on the eight, so the two ball stopped and bumped the ten to hold the cue ball. Good shot. Six still goes past the ten, which is okay. That could have gone a little bit wrong, but didn't. Swinging it round two rails. A bit shorter pace again, but it's okay. Yeah, I would have liked to be a little straighter, but can still hold the cue ball. Go draw to the center of the table. A little bit farther than he was looking for. There's Jen Jerry Engler in the audience, our oldest competitor. Sat down in that chair and had a little chat with her actually, Tim, during the break. Lovely lady. Got a little short on this six, or at least he got quite straight. I think he was trying to get to the center of the table. So I had to play the short side for the seven. Wouldn't it be great if both of these players turn up with their A games? It looks like they're very close to them. And in it goes. Filler back in the lead by one. And once again, he leads 2-1. And we'll be back in just a few moments. See you soon, guys. Welcome back to the CSI Predator for a billiard series. Alpha Las Vegas Open here in the lovely Rio All Suites Casino and Hotel. It's shaping up to be a great battle, this Josh Filler and Chang Junglin. Yeah, tried making the one ball on the side, but again, got kissed away on its route. You can see, got that seven ball, bumped it away. But a little fortunate with the five and the eight coming in between, so no shot for Cheng. And Cheng might have to go aggressive here. Yeah, I think he's looking at kicking this one ball. It's a high reward. If he can make the one, he's has a really high percentage to get nicely on the two. Want to hit the second route, just clip off it. Keep ball back to the center of the table. Oh, oh beautiful shot. Played that to perfection, didn't even use the second round. What a great shot that was. Yeah, and he's got a great angle on the two to maybe do something with the three ball. Could go for position just next to the six and then shoot the three ball off the four in the side. A little short for the shot I was calling, so he might be playing to go safe. 
Where is he going to go, Tim? Behind the seven or just go up behind the four? Yeah, I was thinking behind the four. Another shot I was thinking about is maybe kicking the three away and then leaving the cue ball stuck behind the four ball. He's called the three, so he might be thinning still of the four. Real first into the four. No. Called it just in case and played the short safety. Yeah, Joshua calling the three ball in the corner. No hesitation at all. Jump stick coming out then. try and got fortunate just apologizing yeah got really close and would have been on the four ball as well maybe a little well, jump on jump, the four yeah. but yeah that would have been nice but if he would have made the three uh, you would have favored him to make the jump on the four as well so now Cheng with the jump cue cue ball is he going for this? He certainly is. Oh, how has that not gone in? A bit like the three ball, Tim. Joshua rattled the three. Chang rattled the cue ball. Well, he might go for this three ball. Just because if he m misses it on the short rail, he's not really going to leave something on the three. the last second extension there yeah decided to take cover with the five managed to do well good shot stays in control Joshua Feller The three ball on the side and the open shot for Filler. Yeah, great opportunity now. Went all in there, hoping for a little bit of a, a jelly roll, as they call it. Where would you put Joshua Filler in the Temple world? As in raiding? Yeah. I think it just really depends on the formats too. With a template, he just keeps on break and running. With the hand rack, little less. So I think for him it would be very important to find a way to break and still make a ball. So that's why he's probably breaking from the side, so he can try to make the one in the side and keep going. Have you ever thought of being a politician? <laughs> no. Well, if the commentating and playing doesn't avail itself of a lucrative career, maybe that's something you should think about in later life. You're already sounding like one. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> Okay, so two rails position. Just floating the cue ball around the table at the moment. Doesn't have to do much more. Again, two rails. Turning his head a little bit. Felt like he under hit the ball probably the moment he struck it. That's okay though. He can still make the nine. And go two rails forward for the ten in the side. Or even draw it. Oh, that that didn't grip, did it? That I'm only okay. He's still on it, but it didn't really grip. 
than this to get on the hill in the first set. In it goes. Advantage Villa. Two wrecks clear. Now, Tim, something I haven't done this tournament, and I always do it, get a few fun facts on where we are. And, of course, we're in the wonderful city of Las Vegas, and I know how you love these. At 1,149 feet, the stratosphere is the tallest observation tower in the United States. You needed to know that, didn't you? Oh, yeah. And with its millions of lights, Las Vegas is considered the brightest spot on Earth. And one of those lights is the Luxor Beam. You know the Luxor Hotel? Yep. Well, that beam that they shoot into the sky costs $51 an hour just to keep that on. I'm glad I haven't got their electricity bill. <laughs> Back to the important stuff. The fact is, Filler is on the hill. Here we go. Well, almost made the one on the side, came a little low, and that's six ball. He's got the six ball, and yeah, he's already called the one. He's going airborne. Airborne with Lufthansa. No, with the Predator Air Rush. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad name for an airline either, is it, Air Rush? Oh, whoa, whoa, cue ball. Oh, just that little flick of the two. Let's have a look here. Yeah, just keep your eyes on this cue ball as it comes past the two ball. Just that slightest flick. Yeah, the biggest problem was getting on the three. Well, now Cheng's got ball in hand on the two. That might be a lot easier for him. Wow, he's found the gap here, look. <coughs> Playing it into this bottom left-hand corner. Yeah, it's got a small angle, but he can bump the five. The only thing I would be worried about if I'm pushing the five towards the nine, and I don't want to lock him up, so maybe play with more speed and bump it off the rail as well. He's pushed the combo on. It could have been worse. That's okay. Five will be going towards the ten after that, Tim. Depending on how hard he plays it. Yeah, that's why I think I like to be cl really close to the long rail. Then the cue ball and the five will go to the short rail. Expression there from Filler. There's another one. Ruining that bad luck he got on that jump shot he played on the one. going to win a place in the last 16 in the last eight rather it's going to be hard work you're going to have to earn it yeah 3-2 so let's go and have a word from the panda see what he's got to say enjoy guys we'll be back soon I like the format and I don't like the format. It's like uh, hate and love, you know, because you don't want to go for a shootout, but you want to win. And sometimes you can't get away without playing the shootout. 
Um, but I won it once, so I feel capable to win again. Um, and I feel really great to be back here in USA because there is a big crowd. There are always people who are watching and it's just more fun to have spectators, especially a huge uh, crowd. And I'm really looking forward. And there's a new format as well for the final stage for the last 64. And I'm looking forward to play that because that gives you more zone not to play the shootout. And I'm looking forward for that. And we're back. Chang breaking off. Yeah, big break here. Oh, still no luck on it though. And look at this shot on the one ball and the two five combo to follow. Yeah, it's got a small angle on the one, so cannot really get straight on the two-five combo. But you still, yeah, you gotta go for this. Gotta watch out though. If he hits the five ball a little bit thin, that two ball might get just behind the three. So it's either you play it thin and you let the two ball go to the long reel, or you try to hit it pure and head on on the five it's a little bit tricky isn't it Tim needs a little bit more care and attention this so he's taken his extension give himself another 30 seconds and, and that's what's cost him trying yeah, look at that. He's not very pleased with that. That was a good opportunity, wasn't it, really? I know it was still a little bit awkward, as we saw, but still expect him to make it. Yeah, certainly not, you know, certainly make the five. Maybe not get ideal position, but certainly make the five. Rule number one, make the ball. Have the next shot. What say you? I think that he was trying to be so well on that two ball that he's missed the five just because of it. And it happens. Just Playing a draw shot with his left hand there. Chang. Yeah, one rail to the center of the table. Might have gotten a little straight. Too straight to go short rail, long rail towards the six. So might have to go play with draw and go directly to the long rail and come back out. Perfect. I think he's got the angle to just drop in the six and get to the short side of the seven. Wouldn't mind getting to the other side of the seven because of the scratch and there's just such a small room between the seven and the side pocket. Looks like he's playing with draw. Might be drawn his way away from the side pocket. Oh, he did go between the gap. What a great shot that is. Played it really nice. Yeah, 
might cheat the pocket a little bit there to get that cue ball off the rail. And then stop shot on the eight with two balls left to get to double hill here. this nine and ten bolt disappear and we'll give you an update on some of the matches going on at the moment in the alpha las vegas women's open they're going on on the eight tables to the left as you look at this arena in it goes kelly fisher after a great four nil four nil win yesterday is at it again She's up against Alari Gafari. She took the first set 4-1, Kelly, in that one. Margaret Fefelova in action. 2-0 up against American Sarah Miller. And another American, Susan Williams, is 2-1 down to Bulgarian Kristina Zlateva. Elul Kibaroglu from Turkey took the first set 4-1 against Kim Bojan from South Korea and Brittany Bryant from Canada up against Melissa Morris from the States and the Canadian is 3-1 up Chang is 3-3 with Hill uh, with Filler here we go Hill Hill needs a ball Tim yeah, and he's one of the few players that break with his bridge on the rail but not really flat on the rail like he just uses his pinky here's pia looking studying this break nine ball goes in and he's got a shot on the one of the four mm. ball goes no not now disappointment <laughs> on the face of Chang as that four ball came and just ruined it. It looked for a few moments that he might have a shot. He's got a rail first shot at it. Yeah, just no future to get on the two. going to go here Tim or should I say where would you go um, yeah tough so tough you, you, had to you, take know his extension. You, you know if you go towards the seven on the short rail you know you're always going to be hooked after I might push to a dead straight in one ball Cue ball on the rail, so the one ball, the cue ball has to go forward. No future for the two ball. And then there's only one safety, and it's hitting the one ball thin on the right side and bringing the cue ball back behind the three a two. Two rails probably, but can he well get I that one I past the two ball on the right? Sorry, past the four ball, Tim, as we look. Might be. So I mean, hit the one ball half, half ball on the left. Oh, you mean getting the one ball out? Yes. No, he's might be, it back. On, might be on the kiss if he plays that. Yeah, I understand why Filler gave that back. It's not a comfortable position, so a good push out. If Cheng plays a good move here, is he gonna roll this in and play safe on the two, maybe? No, he played it thinner. Well, he if played he gets it cover, this is a great shot. Is a window there? No. Yeah, not enough window to make the one at least. <laughs> Am 
might have to go two rails from the back. Calls extension. If he can find the gap, that could turn out into a safety. Well, he did, and yeah, he's got it. He's got it. Jump cues coming out for this one. I'd put my mortgage on my house on it if I had one. To make it? To jump it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to get the jump stick out. Oh. I'd put your house on it for him to jump it and successfully make it. <laughs> How's that? Oh, well, we'll find out. Tim's looking for a room, if anyone knows of one. <laughs> <laughs> well, turned out to be safe after, so... I think I just heard a jump cue or a, a playing cue drop on the floor. Yeah, yeah Philip brought fillers. two cues to the table. Jumping to get safe again. Yeah, just like that. Needs to get cover and... He hasn't. Same problem though, Tim, getting on the two ball. Well, he has pushed that ten ball up a little bit more to where it gets tougher to get to the two ball. You still gotta gotta go for it if you land the cue ball on the second diamond long reel on the left. I think it's the second diamond. Yeah, you should be okay and then you can go around from the two to the three ball. Oh, beautifully played, exactly as you said it. Now he can go around the angles, play the three into the same pocket. Yeah, if he gets straight on the three ball, it might be. Looking very good for Chang Yun Lin. You mean like that? Yeah, beautiful speed. Looks like the first set is heading Chang Yun Lin's way. Always a fierce competitor, isn't he? Bean Hung has lost the first set against Fan Yu Xuan, 4-0. Christina Takach is 2-1 down in the first set against Yi Yun Su. Straightforward from here, Tim? Yeah. Yeah, just has to make sure he gets a decent angle on the seven. Anything but straight. Still, I would have liked to maybe have a little bit more angle to get nicely to the center of the table for the eight in the side. So he might go for the eight in the corner pocket. Just stun off the rail here. Margaret Fefilova has taken the first set 4-0 against American Sarah Miller. Yeah, so a little nerves here. Clean this cue. Just Two shots away. Well, 
Just one American remains now. Tyler Steyer has been beaten by Mika Imanen by two sets to zero. First set, Chang on this table. He leads by one set to zero. And we'll be back with the second set in a couple of minutes. See you soon. Welcome back, and um, a bit of news coming from table two, if you're not watching that, if you can't get away from Tim and I, of course. By the way, can I just compliment you on something? Sure. You know, I often sit next to different nationalities, and I'm always in awe of other nationalities speaking the language English, right? Because, and I think it's really nice that people make an effort. English people don't really make an effort because everyone wants to speak English everywhere you go, right? So it's not as easy for us to learn a foreign language. So I just want to say it's a pleasure, and I mean this, it's a pleasure to sit next to you and hear you speak in our language so eloquently. And you've got a really nice... I like, I like the way you speak. I love the Dutch oh. speaking English. Same as the French. I love the French speak. You like Sounds the so sexy when they say it. <laughs> well, thank you. And even, and I love it, even when the women speak French like that as well. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, a bit of news, sorry, I was going to say, from yeah. table two. Shane Van Boning apparently missed a straight in 10 in the first set, and Conrad Musician has taken it. So, Shane, one down. Filler, one down. Breaking oh, off, there. made the one in the side. And the four and ball. And the four, look at this, straight on the two. Can he get to the three, Tim? I'm sure he can. He can, he's not straight on the two ball though. He's got an angle to either pocket, the side pocket and the corner pocket. Well, that was a great, great break. Yeah, finally managed to get that one ball going in the side. He's already had a couple times where it got kissed. So now to the corner with top spin, use the long rail. And then to the center of the table. Very nice. Yeah, now if you can get to the center of the table for the five ball, he will be in a very good position to take the first game in this second set. were some problems with the probillyseries.com website a little bit earlier but the guys have been hard at work they've fixed it it's all up and running guys everything you need to know about this tournament schedules everything like that head to probillyseries.com yeah a classic breaker run here from 
Joshua Feller, nice positional play. Yeah, he was up 3-1 in that first set and lost it, so. We'll need to push a little bit harder to stay in it. Yeah, I think I'd like to see him just pick up the pace a little bit more as well, you know, play at his own pace. I know it's difficult when you're not 100%. In it goes though, so a nice break and run there from Filler. Taking the opening game in this second set and it is no longer just two sets, it's now best of three sets. And then if we go to 3-3 three, three in the third deciding set, it's then that we go to a shootout. And we had one last night on here, didn't we, between uh, Tyler Steyer and Alex Pagulion. And what a great match that was. Tremendous battle. Tyler won it, but then unfortunately today got beat by Mika Immanen, player of the player of the decade 2010, and uh, well, still going strong. Found refound that love for the game team. Yeah, he's just got so much feel and knowledge about the game. He just yeah, there's no reason for him to quit. They don't call him the Ice Man for nothing. He refuses to melt. Oh, almost made a one and hung up on him and needs that four ball oh, to stop right there. Has. Oh. Maybe his luck is changing. Chewing on his gum. thinking where he's about to push out to. You know, the thing with the push out is, especially on this high level, is that you don't want to push out to somewhere where you know that they're going to play a good safety on you. And that's really difficult because the standard is so high. Everyone's defense is getting so, so creative as well. So yeah, at some point you just don't know where to push out to anymore. Kind of like that, though. I do. All the way up to the short rail would have been bad news. So yeah. this is in between. He still might be able to overcut the one and get the cue while three rails behind the ten. Oh, oh, he missed cue. He went over the top of the top of the cue ball. That's t twice I've seen Josh Thriller miss cue in one day. Yeah, I felt like his cue. Might have been a little bit too flat, too level. Can we see yeah. that again, I wonder? Well, he hasn't really left something on the one, so it's not like, like he sold out. But he also lost a little bit of control to Chang. Chang might be able to shoot to one of the nine and get the kill up to the four. Oh. Well, that's no good. One eight is on. It's a cool looking dude, look. Yeah, that nine ball pushed the four away. The one didn't really go as far as he wanted it to go, so. And the killer, the table. Yeah, two goes past the four. Three in the same vicinity. It's looking good. Well, he doesn't, didn't play it. Locked him up. I think there's only the one rail. He's playing the one railer. There's nothing else. We'll play this with some pace though. Trying to separate the balls and oh, he's done a good job. At least for not leaving him straight in on something. But the moment Filler came to the table, he thought, okay, bank shot. First thing. 
I don't blame him. Yeah, not a bad Banks player. Well, he's guaranteed to be in the two ball as well. And he goes. Did not kill the cue ball. Thought he was going to have the cue ball stay on the long rail. Played for the side pocket. Maybe a little short, but still okay to cut it. Just to either slow up or run. Did neither. It's finished in between. So he's most likely to shoot it to the bottom left corner. Shane Van Boning coming back against oh. Comrade Musician. 3 0 is at leads in the second set, having lost the first. Sorry, Tim. Yeah, might have to leave himself above the 10 ball to make sure he's got plenty of angle to get to the 6. Like that, looks a little bit short. Do you get far enough? He's yeah. always going to push the seven ball towards the corner, though. So if he can just make the six, yeah, it's a thin one. He can get to it, and it goes. Yeah, caught it from the back, but still a great result. Straightforward 10 to double his lead to 2 0. He's coming back at Chang. Yeah, 2 0. Oh. A little back and forth again, this rack. Reigning champion Victor Zelensky won it here a year ago. He has taken the first set against David Alcady, the remaining Spaniard in the tournament. Sanchez Ruiz knocked out last night in a fantastic match that finished very late here. And had a huge crowd around watching it against Taiwanese Jung. Vitaly Patsura went through earlier on as well. The Ukrainian beating Finnish Petri Makinen. Yeah, that's a big win for Patsura. Looking for another Pringle break. Made the seven ball, and he's got a shell on the one with the two ball just next to it. Yeah, I would say you can get a nice angle on the two to get to the three. Then the, all the hard work is done. Good shot, good start. Could be a much quicker set than the first one was. Well, it looks like he's playing a little bit faster. Yeah, I his said, base, didn't I? His pace stepped up a little bit. Exactly what I said in the last. I want to see him step up the pace just a little bit and play more like Josh Filler, like the Josh Filler we're used to seeing. Still taking his time on the important shots, but 
Just whenever he gets out in the open, he needs to go a little bit more. Came up a little bit short here. Does have a big pocket with that nine ball. Just called it, just in case he hits the nine. Duan Kwok Hong is at it again. He's 3 2 up oh, on Ko Pin Yi. He's okay, is he just. No. Or is he? Or, or he's just. Relieved. Yeah, relieved that that nine ball didn't ruin the party. From this angle, it looks very ominous, but it's okay, I think. Again, a little bit in between. I think, he, to I, think it's I think it's okay to still get past the side with topspin. No problem anywhere but straight. It's got a small little angle to work with. It's not ideal, but definitely doable. Nice bit of right hand spin. Just widening the angle of the rail. Oh. Well, I think he purposely spin. played it this way. Really? Just because he felt like he couldn't hold the cue ball that much. It was quite a thin cut. See, I don't think he was able to spin around anymore, so he was just trying to make the ball and take whatever he would get after. Okay. Oh, and there it goes. Straight in, in full flow, Josh Filler. It's a great thing to see. And we're going to be back in just a minute, guys, with the next rack. Can Filler tie up? Welcome back to the Alpha Las Vegas Open here in the Rio All Sweeten Hotel. Joshua Filler up 3 0 in the second set. Looking to tie up the score in sets. Oh, good break. Perfect cue ball. Made a one in the side. And I think that two ball goes to that top right corner. Another great break, Tim. Oh, seemed to snatch that a little bit. Didn't look like a very nice stroke, to be honest. Let's have a look at that again, Tim. What do you make of this? Yeah, see, brought the cue back. Very tiny little stab. Yeah, a little pokey, but maybe the corner was not fully available. Could have been. Uh, anyways, it's another good chance for Cheng Lin to play himself back into the set like he did in the first one. He was down 3-1. Still won the set 4 3, so. Two rails. Three in the bottom left oh. corner or the side, but. Came up short. Can still go for the bottom left corner and then play the four in the left side pocket.
Kelly Fisher through in the women's Las Vegas Open. She's beaten Alara Gafari in straight sets, 2-0. Christina Zateva has taken the first set against Suzanne Williams. So a good recovery from Cheng. Don't need another good shot though. Cannot get straight on the five. Needs a good angle to get over to, to the six ball. Shane Van Boning has levelled against Conrad Musician. They're one all in sets and one one in games. Yeah, nice shot. Got the perfect angle on this six ball. Oh, yeah, he's, he's overdone that. that. Oh, there's a little gift for Oh, that's Joshua rare, Feller. that. A miss like that. And it, well, it was quite a big miss, wasn't it? What's made him miss that? Just misjudgment? Maybe he was putting a little bit more spin on the cue ball to strain it up. And that spin is going to throw that six ball over. I am not sure if that's really the reason. I think he maybe just took his eye off the shot. Just because he's such a good player, he usually doesn't really miss those kind of shots, like ever. So, yeah, it's a technical error rather than a, you know, with moving the eyes rather than yeah, then choosing the, the wrong yeah, well, aiming. Yeah, it was not a bad stroke or yeah, yeah. A little bit short, but he's all right. Yeah, two rails to the ten ball here. You'll be disappointed with that, Chang. A much quicker set, four to zero. And that'll make him feel much better. We're going to a third and deciding set. And just to explain the rule once again to you, if we happen to go to three racks each in this particular deciding set, then we will go to one of those 10 ball shootouts that the players hate, but we absolutely love. So who do you fancy now, Tim, to go through to the last day in this particular match after seeing two sets who's looking sharper well now just because Chang missed the six ball and filler was speeding up a little bit and starting to play better i think filler is the slight favorite in his third set but we all know yeah, how big Chang's grind is we know he's capable of now just to play a perfect set and still win it so and if you're wondering why filler isn't breaking it's because it's a new set and because it's the third set, Chen broke first, so he will break third. Yeah, made but a four ball in the corner and... Oh. Again finds himself hooked. It's not the first time this match. Chang will be playing shots. in the World 10 ball. Sorry to interrupt you, Tim. We'll be playing in the World 10 ball, which starts. When does that start, Tim? Tuesday. Tuesday. And what's today? <laughs> I've kind of all my Saturday. days have gone. Saturday. Oh, it's Saturday, is it? Oh, yeah. we got a day on day off. It's a weekend. <laughs> Yeah, I do expect him to play a wide bank shot, leaving the cue ball close to the corner pocket and getting the one ball two rails down behind the 10, 5, 2, 6. Well, 
he tried to get behind the nine and looks like the one ball got there. Did that nine block getting underneath the one? If it did, it would be even better for Joshua Filler. Can't tell from here. Chang can't tell from there. Yeah, it must be close. So you can see it then. Yeah, he's, he's calling the corner, yeah. Oh, you could still see it and you know, always play to overcut the one just to get it back behind the balls and I'm not sure if he managed to do that. A little Messe hit the left side of the one. Uh, yeah, no, right side of the one. And that mistake. Yeah. I was thinking if he could swerve Messe Messe into the left side of the one would have easier to spread the balls but I think the six ball was a little bit too rough in that position not sure if there is a two six combination though might be a little off angle so still some work to do for Chang called the six straight away judged it will draw shot here for the three yeah probably playing a little draw it's two ball trying to get straight on the three Snooker style stance there from Chang Jung Lin. How is he there, Tim? Has he gone well, a little bit far? He's got a mini enough? angle going towards well towards the seven if he draws it. But I don't think he's able to get to the long rail anymore. Just come back to where he's Can he still Q cheat the now? pocket? Yeah, that's okay. Float the seven ball in. It's guaranteed they have a good shot on the eight. Just speed control mainly on seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, good angle on the nine ball. Stun left. Maybe mini draw, but yeah, should not really be worried about this. He stunned it over to the other side.
14-10. Chang in the lead again. Yeah, clinches the first rack. And breaking could be a lot more. Referee John Lehman, also our tournament director. So how many hotel rooms do you think there are in Las Vegas, Tim? No looking at my screen. <laughs> oh, I'm glad <laughs> no I did And no Googling so. either. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I ain't getting it. I really have no idea. 150,000. That many? Oh. That's what it says here. And if you're thinking of getting married, Tim, are you thinking of getting married? I know you're in a, a, a serious relationship. Is there, is there a, a marriage on the cards? No. No, okay. we're not that far yet. Well, there's 300 couples that say differently to you because they get married in Vegas every single day. 300 weddings a day. A day. Wow. Yeah. Okay, now having his bridge hand on the rail did change the break. Oh, and with success, making the nine in the side, lost the cue ball a bit, but. Oh, he's got an open shot on the one. Difficult shot and also needs to be really nice on the two ball to be able to do something with the three. Lots of noise in the background as well. That's coming from all the teams that are playing their events in the three different rooms at the moment. There's around 7,000 pool players in this building oh. at the moment. That's what a such shot a good shot. That is. And like I said, he had to get perfect on the two to at least have a chance to do something with the three. Oh, he's done very, not very good there. Still awkward, though. How does he get there, Tim? He might be able to cheat the pocket a little bit with stun left and go three rails for the three in the in this view, bottom right corner. Could also take the gamble and draw into the six. Oh, he oh, found a gap between the five and the seven. Shot. How good is that? Well worth another look. Look at that. Oh, did he just graze that seven? Well, either way, he's got nice on the three, but he's also got very straight on the three. So it's... My, I think he's okay if he cheats the pocket a little bit to go two rails around the ten. Just trying to get a little bit closer to the four. Yeah, good shot, strong shot. If he runs this game out, then he's showing that he really came back after that second set. Second set, he looked a little bit weak, but I don't really see this and see that anymore in his game right now. Yeah, you've either got one of them playing well or the other at the moment. I know it, the first set was 4-3, but it was a bit flattering to filler, I think. What a great shot that is. How well is he queuing right now? just times the ball so beautifully looks to be straight might have to follow up for the six in the side 
he's aiming low in the queue. What is he going got to play power draw? Yeah, look, just a slight angle, Tim. Can he get over enough? He needs to get to the left side. Oh, yeah. Cheat the puck a little pocket bit. as well at that speed. <coughs> Incredible. Dong Kwok Hong has taken the first set against Ko Ping Yi. Ko Ping Yi, of course, knocked out Feder Gorst in the last round. He's left himself a little, yeah, a little, a little more difficult weird. on this six. I have to go for the top left corner. Eilul Kibaroglu has beaten Kim Bojan from Korea. <coughs> oh, Ooh. such a good shot. He played it with stun just to be able to Beautiful. at least strike the ball a little bit instead of floating the ball. Done that really good. Found a small spot between the eighth and the side pocket and it's about to be up 2-0 here in this deciding set. Yeah, it's getting dangerous now because... <laughs> One more rack from Chang and the best filler will be able to do is force a shootout. That's what changes in this format, in this particular stage two. These players looking for a place and a shot at the 25,000 first prize on offer here to be crowned Alpha Las Vegas champion of 2023. Oh. So are you managing to get, are you managing to get much um, Practicing, Tim? <coughs> Me? Yeah. Yeah, I play daily at the moment. Dry break from Jank. Now then, does that one ball past the nine? Don't think so. Did actually make a ball on the break, made the two in the side. No shot on the one though, so hooks filler. Oh, and a very difficult hook for filler. Pushed that one ball in a very difficult position to get to, and even if he goes one rail, there's also a big scratch of the one. Have to come two rails and just glance, glance into it. He's gone a bit high, and that's going to be a foul. Well, it was always going to be better to take a foul than opening up the eight. So, yeah, I think he's going to find himself in trouble again, though, Tim. After this, it's going to hook him up behind the eight again. Yeah, it looks like that one ball does go in between the eight and the rail. Three foul is the rule here. And we actually saw one last night and guess who it was on? Joshua Filler. Yeah, I 
Frank. But he hasn't been three fouled too many times in his career, Tim. I don't think so, no. So, yeah, can kick one rail. Very difficult, but I think it's his only option. Well, he's oh, not going to get three this fouls this time. What a great shot. Has it leaked out? I think it has. So, draw shot here to play the combo, the 3-5. Well, it was the a missed combo before that started the downfall of Filler in the opening set, if you remember that, Tim. I think it was on the a six ball or something, wasn't it? No, it was in the beginning, like a two, one-two combo, something like that. Yeah, one-two with yeah, the three next yeah, yeah, to it. That's right, yeah. Well, the good thing is, if he makes a combo, or the carom, he's guaranteed to have a shot on the three. But it's not guaranteed to make it. Oh, he played the com the billiard. Yeah, nicely played. Yeah, just hit a little bit firm. Expected him to have the, have the three ball stay with the short rail. Well, he might go bank here. Yeah, with the four ball there, he can just draw the cue ball back. So that he doesn't leave a shot should he miss it. No. Oh, he's he gone all out safe. for the hook, but he hasn't got it. That's a mistake from Filler. Yeah. That was he was really focused on getting yeah. the kill behind the six and didn't get there at all. Well, I'm certainly not going to question a world champion and multiple title winner. US Open as well, I believe. Yeah, Cheng off the eighth here, top spin. Oh, he don't, mess the up, oh don't mess up the seven. He has. Has it gone into a <laughs> little rose <laughs> yeah, smile he, there? He knows, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course, there's always a seven eight combo, but it's not really the f yeah, everybody's favorite shot. Let's uh, say it like that. Say it how you want, Tim. Mm. Oh, Ooh, didn't get got into a that. little thin as well. Oh, he's had a little bit of a roll there. Yeah, maybe a little nerf showing. This is to go on the hill for a place in the quarter final. I think he's about to play for the 7 8 combo. Looks like it, and looks like he's quite straight on it as well. Looks like if he makes a seven of the eight, uh, makes the eight, and then the seven will go to the left side. If he's stun soft stun here, we'll go towards the short rail if he makes it. Oh, he tried to go three rails around with the cue ball. Does yep. that cut back, Tim? I think it does. Yes. Looks much nicer from that angle, doesn't it? But it's tough to get a good position with the cue well, he can go for he can go for the shot just not sure if he can go three rails still because it's quite a thin cut maybe a bit of inside and hold it he's going round 
Maybe he will go Three four rails. rails. Long, long, short, long. No, he still managed to do it. Wow, what a shot this really is. Really good shot. What a shot that was. To hold that cue ball off such a thin contact, great shot. Yeah, really changed the angle there. Comes across to play the 10 into the same pocket to go on the hill in our first 16 match. Yeah, and Joshua Filler is in trouble. <coughs> so let's go and have a word with Francisco Sanchez Ruiz and see how he loves to play this wonderful game of pool. Yeah, I feel unbelievable because last year I won a couple good tournaments. Uh, I won like a, uh, the first of the year, I won Derby. Then I won the World Cup pool. I won the US Open. I won the, the World Elbow this is, and Bosconi. So it's, it was a, like a dream for me. But uh, I feel, I feel in the, at the beginning of the year, I feel like a little bit pressure because I, I had a good year last year. But uh, this year I, I won the World Nine Ball, so I feel really confident and looking for the rest of the season. But now I, I, I feel so focused in the Alpha Open and the World Nine Ball. Welcome back. Chang is on the hill. Shane Van Bonin is through to the quarterfinals. He's beaten the pole. Conrad, musician, by two sets to one. Break. I felt like his backswing there was a little shorter. He didn't pull all the way through. Like it just, f it felt like there was not that that big energy like the previous racks. Certainly seemed to go quickly at it after the the backswing. Yeah. So still a little life in Joshua Filler. Played Ooh, a good cue ball here. Up, Nice shot. Yeah, very good shot. Chang doesn't think so. <laughs> I think he's jumping to the kick here, Tim. Yes, he is. Jumping kick. to the kick, yeah. Yeah, jump kick from the back. Oh, oh put a little bit, it. put a little bit too much spin on there. I think he really loaded that cue ball up. Well, if there was any ball tied up, wouldn't surprise me if he went for a one ten here, but there isn't. It's all in the open, so he'll go for the run out. I know some people that would. I'm one of them. Yeah, not a crazy tough layout. All the balls are quite close to each other. Just focus on playing good angles. Maybe that eight ball next to the four could be a little bit annoying if you get a little bit of angle on the four. Is there more to the story? Hasn't been a thriller, but it's been entertaining. Yeah, I can go forward now. Leave himself a good angle to get up table for the seven in the side. Oh, 
I'm more result to bring you from the ladies Las Vegas Open. Brittany Bryant has beaten Melissa Morris two straight sets to advance to the next round as well. Lovely lady Brittany, always nice to see her at these tournaments. It's got a little closer to the reel. A little just, bit short again. Just got okay, I think. Clever shot, pushing the nine ball over to the corner just to make sure after taking a longer eight to have easy route to the ten ball after. It's a smart, clever shot. Yeah, I like those little nudgy shots. Yeah, beautiful shot that's from Joshua okay, That's Fjellar. okay, isn't it? Oh, good cue ball control. And it goes. It's not over yet. 3-1 now. Chang Jungling leads. Deciding set. So Shane Van Boning through. What do you reckon, Tim? Can he win it? He was breaking so well this morning. Well, and also yesterday. Like, you could say, well, he had one good match where he was breaking well, but he was breaking so good yesterday when he was playing Jeremy Seaman. And we know he's one of the best tempo breakers in the world, so obviously, if that keeps happening, yeah, he might be in it to win it, for sure. These two both very much in it. Okay, you've got to have Chang as slight favourite at the moment. Yeah, don't count Joshua Filler out though. Only takes two breaks and we'll go to a shootout. Yeah, well, going to a third set also is the reigning champion of this event, Victor Zelensky and David Alcady. David Alcady has won the second set to draw level. He won it 4 1. Well, he's made the one ball on the side and got almost perfect on the two. Hold the back pages. There's more to be written yet. I mean, this is so such a a plain run out, isn't it? Just needs to make sure he's got a good angle to go to the nine. Well, he's like wrong he's side. A little short. Another power shot from Filler. All around the angles. Thing is, he will be close to the scratch. He might go directly to the short reel. Just like that. Oh. Give a spin. Just look at the bend on the cue ball. Zoop. A Jimmy White special that was. Josh Filler special. Yeah, still, Short though. Still got a little high on the nine. Might go to bump the ten again like he did earlier. Yeah, good call, Tim. And ooh. oh, how well has that finished? <laughs> well, <laughs> a little luck. Well, he had to laugh at that one. <laughs> Turns round to Jang. Well, Chang's not impressed. Look. No, in Cheng's case, he's just, he's got to wait till something pops up and then take advantage of it. And whatever filler does should not affect him at all. So if the 10 ball goes in there, it would come back up, am I right? Yeah. I'm going to give you a name for who I think is going to win this event. Go ahead. I reckon the Vietnamese guy is going to get to the final. Yeah, Guo Quang Dong. Yeah. 
Duong Quoc Hong. Exactly. I'd love one of you guys. I've got a few friends in Vietnam, and I'd please send me a, a voice message of how to say his name properly. I actually got added to a, a big pool group yesterday in Vietnam. So, guys, if one of you can give me the right pronunciation of his name, I would love it, please. I want to get it right. Oh, that's oh, been... Makes oh, seven. he has made it. And I think he's got a shot on the one. It's a thin cut, but from being 3-0 down, now having the opportunity to make three each is huge. And it's going to be a shootout if it does go 3-3. Just how is he going to control the cue ball? If he cuts it, the cue ball will go towards the nine. So the, he could bump the nine to hold the cue ball. He might also just play the safety, just trying to stay in control in this game. He play the safety behind the two. Could go thinning off the left side of the one and bring the cue ball all the way back down behind yeah, the big eight, wall six, three, there. nine. Yeah. Big wall, isn't there? That's why I like going that way, Tim. We're going to play the the one ball, just the middle of the rail. It's called the extension. Chose that oh. second option. I was trying to get behind the tent so he wouldn't leave the the short rail kick. There's two options. Can go two rails over the right side, long rail, short rail, or one rail from the back. Try to get the perfect speed, and well, I think he's got the perfect speed on this one more mark. Glued to the rail that one ball. Well, thinned the one ball, followed the cue ball all the way down, and some people clapping. I'm not sure if. I'm sure there is a big piece of the one ball Chen can see. He might even be able to shoot the one of the three in the side. Blast it. Well, otherwise, he could always roll up on the six with the eight as backup. Did he get? Yeah, he's okay. It's okay, but Filler jumps out of his chair with his jump cue, most likely. Oh, close. And what has he left? I don't think he has left. Does it go off the three, Tim? I just had a quick glimpse there. I didn't really see. No. Yes, sir. Yeah, one in the side he called him. Does it go in the off the three? Is that what he called? I think it I is. I think it's you know. difficult. I think of the, the nine, nine is off easier. Off the nine, yeah. yeah. If he can just hit the nine from there, it's guaranteed to be on the two. Oh, oh a jump shot again, though. Well, if that nine would have been. If that nine would have gone, 
I don't th think Filler would have given it back, would he? No, no. You, even if he has to jump the ball, he's got to take the gamble to get on the two. Yeah, and that nine there, of course, now. Oh, he's still able to masse around it, trying oh, to miss no. all the shots. And Well, that's got rid of another ball that she hasn't got to make. Well, that looks like that three ball might be into play as well. Oh, no, it looks like it goes. Open up the whole rack here. Has to make this. He's made the nine and the two ball. He's going two at a time now. He's in a hurry. He wants to get to the shootout. Oh. It's just five balls to get to the shootout. Who would have thought that at 3-0 down? Phillip obviously believed he could do it. He's done it. One big stroke needed here. Yeah, and there it goes. And this means... Unbelievable. We go to the shootout. Uh, well played, Josh Filler. I mean, you've got to take your hat off to him. What a great, what a great, great effort from Filler. And we'll be back with the shootout in just a couple of minutes. You don't want to miss this. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls around the world. And there you see the lovely graphic right on cue. Four innings each, alternate sides. The cue ball has to be placed anywhere in the green area. Ten ball is placed where it's racked, in the rack, not on the spot. So it makes it that little bit more difficult. And they'll go one innings from each side. And because Chang won the lang, the lag, Chang won the lang, Chang won the lag, gives him the right to go first or second. And as we always see, 99.9% .9 of the time, he wants to go first. Must make the 10 ball into that bottom right hand corner pocket. It must go in directly. And you are still on a shot clock.
and it does go in directly. So Josh Filler will come to the table. Yeah, all, the, all the pressure on him, of course. If Chang just keeps making his own shots, then Filler has to follow. Well, you know, he'll be thankful after being 3-0 down to get this opportunity. It's all down to him now. And he is well known for being a real straight shooter. But then Chang has been queuing so well as well. This could go a long way, Tim. Yep. And if we do go to four each and then we have to go sudden death but then the shot gets even more difficult because no longer are you allowed to play from the kitchen line area it comes back a diamond so makes it that more difficult we're not there yet but it wouldn't surprise me if we do A little wide, but still went in, 2-1. Yeah, just caught that far draw of the pocket. Right in the centre of the pocket once again. And the great matches keep coming straight after this. Will be Mika Imminent against Beda Alwahadi. And Beda having a fantastic tournament. He actually beat Dennis Grabet in the last round. Yeah, interesting to see how Cheng from that left side has his bridge hand on the table, but then from the other side, he puts it on the rail. Two different shots. Yeah. Who's going to flinch first? It's like Russian roulette. We are in Vegas. Yeah, straight in the hole again. Three each. So basically, we're sudden death from here. <laughs> just, yep. just next not person to miss. Boss. Next person to miss loses. Yeah. Providing the other one makes it, of course. Four out of four for Cheng. Philip must make this. If he doesn't, he's out. If he makes it, sudden death. And normally this is where you'll see crowds and crowds gathering round, but because this is an actual arena, we do have two big screens either side of the arena, so I'm sure there'll be lots of people glued to it watching in this huge 50,000 square foot room here at the Rio Hotel Suites and Casino. Ooh. Phil has missed it. Phil is out of this year's Alpha Las Vegas Open.
Cheng goes through to the quarterfinals. What a great match. Congratulations to both players. We'll be back very soon with our next, next match. Thank you so much, Tim De Reuter. I've been Mark White. See you soon. Thank you.